Welcome to episode 3 of my video series about home security cameras and frigate. Security cameras are apparently one of the most effective deterrents against crime. I found several articles online that interviewed former burglars and they all said that CCTV was likely to put them off breaking into a house or stealing a car. They are apparently even more of a deterrent than a burglar alarm system. In this video series, I'm going to show you how I use an open source AI powered security camera system called Frigate to get notified when the cameras around my house detect people, vehicles, or foxes. Frigate is a free to use NVR, which stands for Network Video Recorder, that can be installed on an old computer or a NAS using Docker or as a Home Assistant add on. It uses AI running locally on your computer to make sense of what your camera is looking at and only alerts you when it's something you care about, not wind blowing leaves on trees or shadows passing over your garden. In the last video, we dove deep into how Frigate's AI detection works, how to set it up, and how to tweak it to get the most accurate results and less false positives. We're now going to look at getting Frigate to work with Home Assistant using a couple of hacks integrations and a blueprint. You'll then be able to use Home Assistant to view your live camera streams and to look at the snapshots and recordings of any object detection events. If you're using Nabucasa's Home Assistant Cloud or any other remote access solution, you'll even be able to do this when you're outside of your own home network without exposing Frigate or any of your security cameras to the internet directly. The Home Assistant integration also unlocks a whole range of new automations. There are the obvious ones, like getting a push notification with an image when a new object is detected. But there are also a lot of less obvious use cases, like turning on the floodlights when a person is detected, rather than relying on motion and having the lights turn on every time a cat runs past. When a cat does show up, you could use an automation to politely ask it to leave. Or you can automatically prevent the cameras from recording when you're at home or when the back door is open and then re-enable the recording when you leave the house. Let's take a look at how we can set that up in Home Assistant. In order to get Frigate working with Home Assistant, you'll clearly need Home Assistant and Frigate up and running first. You'll also need both of those things talking to the same MQTT server. If you don't have Frigate installed and set up to detect objects, then I would suggest you start by watching the previous two videos in this series. You'll also need to make sure that you have Hacks installed, which is a Home Assistant community add-on store. I've linked to all of these things in the description below. We'll start by adding the Frigate integration into Home Assistant. This is available as a Hacks integration, and there are instructions on how to do this on the Frigate documentation website. It's actually pretty straightforward. Just go to the integration section in Hacks, click add a new repository, and search for the Frigate integration and then download it. You'll then need to restart Home Assistant. Once it's restarted, go to the integrations area in the settings page, click add integration, and search for the Frigate integration. You'll need to specify the URL of your Frigate server here now. If you're using the add-on as part of the Home Assistant operating system, then it will probably already be filled in here automatically. If you're using the Home Assistant container version and you installed Frigate via Docker, then you'll need to add the right URL in here yourself. If that all worked successfully, you should see that it found any cameras and any zones that you have already set up in Frigate. If you click on the device link on the Frigate integration, you'll see a list of all these cameras and zones that were imported. If we click on a camera, you'll see all the things that we can do with this device. The device comes with a bunch of sensors. There are some generic sensors that show you things like whether or not the camera is recording. And there are three sensors for each of the types of objects that you configured Frigate to detect. The most useful sensors here are the motion sensor, which changes from off to on when that object is detected, and the counter sensor, which shows you how many of those objects Frigate can currently see in the picture. There's also a logbook here that shows you all of the things that the camera has been doing and detecting. Further down, there are a few switches that you can toggle to turn on and off detection, recording, or the creation of snapshots. We'll be using some of these when I show you some example automations later in this video. If we switch over to a zone now, you can see that similar sensors have been added. These work very similarly to those that are available in the camera device, but they're only activated when these objects move into the zones that you created in your Frigate configuration file. Some of my sensors here are unavailable because I told Frigate not to care about cats and dogs at the front of my house. I only care about people here. Over on the right hand side here, we've got a similar logbook card that shows you what's been going on inside this particular zone. 
As you can imagine, these camera and zone specific sensors are really useful because it means we can tailor automations to only trigger when certain objects are detected on certain parts of our property. But before we get to automations, let's look at how we can now view your live camera streams, snapshots and recordings inside Home Assistant. The best way to do this is to install the custom Frigate Dashboard Lovelace card from Hacks. This is done inside the front end part of Hacks by searching for the Frigate card. Before you install it, I recommend scrolling down and copying this resource URL into your clipboard. We might need it later. Then install the card, reload the page, and restart Home Assistant. You can now go to your dashboard and click the three dotted kebab menu in the top right hand side, and then go to Manage Resources. We need to make sure that the Frigate Has card has been added here. Sometimes it gets added itself, other times you might need to paste in the URL that we copied earlier to get it added to the list. You should now be able to edit your dashboard and add the newly added Frigate card. Or maybe not, I friggin hate Hacks front end cards. For some reason it's really hard to get them to show up in the list after I first install them. Sometimes I have to clear my browser cache, force refresh, shift F5, reload the page, and then restart Home Assistant several times before it'll show up in the list but eventually it does, and we can go on to add this card to our dashboard. The only thing I normally do here is add all of my Frigate cameras to the card itself. You need to have at least one camera here listed. There are dozens of other options that can be customized in this card, but I'll let you play around with that yourself and find out what works best for you. Once the card is added, you should see your real-time camera stream load up. If you have more than one camera, you can toggle between them using the arrows on either side. There's a menu at the top left of the card that lets you switch between the live view and any event recordings and snapshots. Clicking on these will load up the library of all the object detection events for that camera. Clicking on one of the recordings plays it in the card, and you can see snapshots like this too. The great thing about this integration is that you can use it while you're out and about from your phone using the Home Assistant Companion app. I find it works best in landscape view, as it makes it easy to click around on the card to view the live streams and check out any snapshots or recordings of detected objects. If you have Nabucasa's Home Assistant Cloud or some other remote access solution, then you can view these things whilst you're outside of your home network without having to directly expose Frigate or any of your IP cameras to the internet. I actually keep all of my cameras on a separate network, along with many of my other smart devices that cannot access the internet. You should check out the Smart Home Security playlist that I have about this, which is linked in the description below. The Frigate integration also makes snapshots and recordings accessible from the Home Assistant media area. You should see a new Frigate tile in here, and inside that, separate areas for clips, recordings, and snapshots. Clips are the short recordings of any detected objects. Snaps are the still images of those same objects, complete with a bounding box showing you what was detected and how certain Frigate was about that. Inside the recordings area, you'll see a folder for every hour of every day that you have recordings for. In here, you'll find one hour long recordings for each camera that you have, and it's essentially all the footage recorded by that camera over that period. It's useful if you wanna look at everything that happened over time. I find this interface a bit janky, and I don't really use it as I only really care about the objects that were detected, not footage about nothing. So that's how you integrate Frigate into Home Assistant and use it to view your live video footage, snapshots, and recordings of your detected objects. But Home Assistant is about automations, so let's put some of these new Frigate sensors and switches to work. The most useful automation I have with Frigate is having it send me notifications to my phone when an object I care about is detected in a particular place. Frigate comes with a notification blueprint, which is linked in the Frigate documentation, that makes creating these notification automations really easy. Go to the documentation, follow the links, and import the blueprint into your Home Assistant installation using the My Home Assistant link. Once it's imported, you can create a new automation directly from here. The blueprint is pretty well documented, but I'll show you how I use it for my setup. You'll need to specify which camera this automation is for first. You'll need to create one automation per camera you want notifications for. Then select the Home Assistant companion app you want the notification to be sent to. You'll need the companion app installed and connected to your Home Assistant before you can do this. And if you want, you can configure the zone filter and object filter to only notify you if certain types of objects go into specific areas. Here you can see that I only want to be notified if a person goes into my front patio or front step zones. I don't want to get notifications for every person walking down my street in front of my house. 
Once I save this automation, I get push notifications sent to my phone each time a person is detected on my front steps or patio. We can also use the frigate sensors and switches in normal automations without a blueprint as well. In this example, I want to turn the back floodlights on when a person is detected in my back garden. I don't want it to turn on every time a neighborhood cat comes to visit. This automation is triggered when the back cam motion sensor gets switched to on. This sensor is one of the ones that Frigate automatically created based on the fact that I asked it to detect people in my back garden in my Frigate config file. I then have a condition to check that the sun has gone down, as there's no point turning on the floodlights during the daytime. I then use the light.turnon service to turn on my back garden lights. The automation then uses a wait for trigger action to wait until the camera has not seen any people for one minute. And then the light.turnoff service is called to turn the light back off. Instead of using the whole camera sensor like I did, you could use one of the zone specific sensors to only turn on the lights if a person walks into a specific area. Or perhaps you want to turn on the garage light when a car is detected in the driveway. These automations can incorporate other sensors too. Maybe you want to blast a siren if you're not home and a person walks down the side path of your house. Or perhaps you want to dumpster any neighborhood cat that comes to visit with your automated sprinkler system. Seriously, so many cats. The last automation I want to show you demonstrates how you can control what Frigate is doing. In this example, I want to stop Frigate from recording any clips or snapshots when someone comes home after the house has been empty. This simple automation is triggered when the residence group I use goes from not home to home. I then call the switch.turnoff service to disable the recording and snapshot creation of all my cameras. These are the configuration switches that you saw in the camera device page earlier. You can then easily reverse this automation to be triggered when the residents go from home to not home, and then use the switch.turn on service to turn these entities back on and thereby re-enabling the recordings and snapshots when you leave the house. And that's it. Frigate is integrated into your home assistant and you're using all the new cool data to power some really awesome automations. If you've got some great ideas about how we can use this new Frigate sensor data to create some automations that I haven't thought of, please let me know in the comments below. This video wraps up my three episode series on Frigate and Home Assistant. I hope that you found it useful and learned something along the way. If you've not seen the previous videos in the series, you should go check them out. Or why not check out some of my other videos? I regularly create videos like this one about Home Assistant and smart home automations in general. I'm guessing by the fact that you're here that you find that kind of thing pretty interesting. So why not subscribe to the channel so that you know when I've released my next video, and then together we can make your home smarter.